Hello everyone and welcome to Silicon Buddy. In this video, we'll try to create the race condition that exists between the design and a test bench. Let's first create the design. DUT. Let's call that DUT. It has an input signal which is 8 bit white bus. Let's call that A. It does have an output. Let's call that 7 down to 0 again. Let's call that B. Being a nice little programmer will end the module. I want to keep this module as simple as possible. We'll make use of an always block. Wait for our one timestamp, update the contents of the output with that of the input. The skeleton for the design is ready. What will we need now? We need is a test bench. Test bench again is a module. The interface to the test bench has to be the same as that of design. We'll copy that, paste it here, change the directions. and module. For my test bench, I should have two components. The first important component which I think is a driver. The second one is the monitor. For a simplicity sake, I'm gonna make use of an initial block for both of these. Let's get our skeleton up first. Done. My monitor and driver skeleton is ready. The driver's job is to pump in some traffic to the DUT. That is what I'm doing right now. Let's take some random value 6. Why don't I just copy this, paste it a couple of times, change this to some random set of values. Done. This is what my driver is. The job of the monitor is to convert the pin level activity on the interface into valid transactions. For this example, our monitor is just gonna display the contents of the output. Let's say output of the design is percentile H. Let's display the contents of B. Since the output is updated, after every one time unit, we'll copy the statement and make use of this display statement at a regular interval of one time unit. Display that a couple of times. This is what a monitor is. Now, in a test bench, we have our driver as well as monitor ready. That said, we have our DUT as well as test bench ready. All we need is a top wrapper. Let's go ahead and create one. Module top and module instantiate the DUT first. Let's call the instance as DUT underscore H. Instantiate the test bench. Let's call the instance as TB underscore H. Having instantiated both our design as well as test bench, why don't we just connect them together? Since the interface has uh, two signals, we'll declare two wires which are 8 bit wide each. Let's say A and we have something called as B. Having declared that, we'll connect them in an appropriate order. Now we have our skeleton for the entire test bench and design ready with the proper connections.